Hello and welcome everybody to another episode of Game Vortex and I decided to make quite an unusual one this time. Well first of all and foremost I wanted to talk a little bit about my personal review of The Lion King 2019. Uh, you know that this is a, a live action uh, remake of the iconic cartoon animation that we've seen in 1994. So because uh, it came out here in Thailand two days or three days uh, before it's coming out anywhere else in, in the US and the UK primarily, uh, I decided to quick, quickly give her my opinion and review because yesterday I went to see it with my daughter. She loved it. I have a mixed reaction and I'll explain you why. So first of all, let's take a look at the Metacritic. It's 55 uh, average score. Some are saying good, some are saying something bad. Uh, the worst probably that I've seen is the reviews on IMDb and it's literally one, 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 two, and so on. Not a single, probably maybe one or two uh, more or less decent reviews. So first and foremost, this is a rapid fire review and I'm doing it as fast as I can. It's not as bad as, as the people make it out to be. It's definitely not one, not two, not three star, not four, and probably not even five. Uh, my daughter loved it. She said it was better than cartoon, but I expect that she's seven years old and uh, She might not have the same impression as I had when I watched the cartoon the first time now It's definitely not great and there's a lot of things that I didn't like in that particular uh, Live-action movie Some things didn't really translate that well some things were changed some things were shortened uh, some things were made slightly differently so a lot of uh, writers were complaining that it's exactly the same thing, which to which I'm saying like, what did you expect? Did you expect them to remake this into a completely different story? So I mean, whatever you've seen in the cartoon is exactly the same thing you're gonna see here. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. That's fine, but first and foremost, it's not as bad as the critics make it out to be, especially not as bad as users make it out to be. Yes, it's something different. It's it's more of the same, but different in the sense that there are some things that you remember differently. Now first, that's out of the way. Now I want to talk about what I didn't like about this movie in particular. And there's quite a few things. I wouldn't necessarily say that it broke the whole experience, but it's a mixed bag. First, uh, the voice acting is all over the place. I love the same guy who played Mufasa before and he's doing it again. Absolutely amazing voice acting as usual. Simba, on the other hand, you know that there's a part when he is a kid and there's a part where he's an adult. Adult, I have no problem with that. When he's a kid, he just doesn't sound anything like I wanted it and remembered him sounding. He sounds weird, he sounds like a kid. And we understand that he's supposed to be a lion, but it just doesn't match the personality of what you see. You're actually imagining that as a kid speaking somewhere when you're watching that. And that is very bizarre because you're looking at the baby lion and this sometimes annoying voice of a kid and it doesn't translate into singing at all. Like there's that part, if you remember, the iconic part when uh, I can't wait to be a king or something like that, right? That song, like it was all over the place. Uh, it completely put me out of the experience. I like what I see, but on the other hand, uh, I don't like what I hear. His voice is all over the place. Scar was okay. <coughs> Zazu, which you know that uh, John Oliver, I think, is doing the, uh, his voice. That, that's okay as well. That's not bad. But, I don't know. Like, my question here is, like, why does Disney have to remake everything? Uh, all their animation. I'd rather let them do a completely new movie. Or, please, make another hand-drawn animation for once in how many? 20 years, probably. I know that's not going to happen, but still. This though, I don't know, you know that, yeah, I sound a bit weird. It just doesn't translate well from this iconic cartoon to, uh, to the big screen. Yes, the CG, incredible, incredible. It's like you cannot really tell the difference between a CG line and a real line, but that's where the problem also starts is because you remember the charisma, the emotions of the cartoon that they don't translate. The animals can't make those goofy faces, those cute faces. And that's where the sadness and emotions also gets lost. 
There's also a problem that I've seen some scenes were much shorter than they were in the cartoon. For example, when Simba's dad died, spoilers, 1994, I just didn't feel that sad at all. It just felt like it didn't translate to the big screen at all. It looked a bit weird or clumsy. Uh, that's, that's one of those things. There's also, you remember the iconic song, right? Uh, can you feel the love tonight? For some reason, the whole scene is shot during the day. Uh, all this beauty that we've seen there with uh, birds and everybody dancing together, it's still kind of here, but it's nowhere near as grand and as beautiful as it was. And that's, I think, the problem with this kind of thing. No matter what CG do you make, it's, it's just not going to translate that well. Now, that's not to say the, the, the thing is bad. I've enjoyed it. I'll watch it once. I would definitely take your kids to see that, especially if they might not be interested in hand-drawn animation anymore. This would be a good introductory uh, point, and then you can show them the cartoon and they can compare for themselves. Uh, what else can I mention? Forgot the name of that baboon that was there, right? He was a bit awkward. He speaks English and then he speaks African, I think. Uh, and some things were changed with him as well. Like, some things just look out of place, not how you remember it. And I don't know if that was a decision on the, on the producer's part or the Disney's part, or maybe they thought some things are not going to work out if they keep doing things this way, so they needed to adapt and change. Overall, I'd say Disney needs to stop making these remakes because well, nobody really asked for them. It seems like they're on a, such a huge role right now of generating as much money as possible to, I don't know, dominate the, the, the world or something. Uh, they're remaking everything. Uh, they're remaking every single hand-drawn animation. I'm just waiting until they start remaking things like Rapunzel and things like that, right? Something that doesn't look very old. I apologize for that. There is a dog sitting between my legs and it, it's very disturbing. Uh, it's actually not a dog, it's a puppy. But yeah. What can I say? I would give this uh, particular movie a solid 6. Maybe if I stretch it 7, but not more than that. Probably more on the 6 side. Uh, I think that they should really be careful. I am curious to see how Mulan will turn out because it's going to be completely different. Because Mulan didn't take off as an animation in China because it was lots of stereotypes and things like that. Uh, so yeah, like it will be interesting to see how uh, it's going to be because it's going to be based primarily on the legend and it's going to be completely different for most part. Ah, I stop biting me, you bastard. Apologize for that. Uh, so yeah, so yeah, there it is. There it is. He was biting me all this time as I was trying to make a review. Am I? Yeah, that is bold, by the way. So yeah, take your kids, watch it, refresh your memory. I know it's going to hurt some people, but just go with an open mind because it's, it's, it's how many, 20, 24, 25 years later, I think it's, it's, it's worth a watch. Uh, and that's it from me for today, so thank you very much for watching this video. Please don't believe all the critics that you see uh, on the internet and all the hateful fans saying that this is one, this is the worst thing ever. It's definitely not great, and it definitely could have been a lot better, but it's not all that bad. And thank you very much for watching this episode of Game Vortex. Thumbs up if you like this video, share it if you like it, uh, subscribe to the channel, I would appreciate it. And I'll see everybody on the next episode of Game Vortex.